What's up you guys? My name is Wolfie and welcome back to another reading your comments video. Thankfully, finally, my computer is working. I started this. Like I I, I need to get this recorded and hurry up recorded hurry up and edit it. Tomorrow is Friday. And the f oh! I loaded this up so that it would be done by the time I was done with my shower. I came back, everything loaded up fine. And as soon as I set up everything to record, my computer just freezes everything. N Task manager didn't even come up. So, screw your mom. It's working now. Not your mom. It's mom. This mom. His mom. It's mom. And now that it's working, we can do this right. Russian name asks, are you really colorblind? I am. I'm, I'm not colorblind colorblind. I am colorblind. If that makes, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm red-green colorblind, uh, all my brothers are partially colorblind, and Sean is the most colorblind, um, as far as I know, but we're all partially colorblind, because for me, personally, colors blend, purple, blue, <sighs> any colors in that spectrum blend, green and yellow sometimes blend, white and gray, black and brown, things like that blend. And people, for some reason, love to be like, What's this color? Because it's like, it's like I'm a circus animal or something. It's like, I, I've never seen a colorblind person. I, I would have never known. It's, I'm colorblind. I'm not stupid. Allison Puetz asks, Do you have a favorite anime or TV show you like to watch? And I hope I pronounced your name right. But yes, I have a lot. Um, I love Game of Thrones. I love... The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead is by far one of my favorite TV shows of all time. I also love childhood TV shows that I've had, like um, regular show Adventure Time, things like that. Those were awesome. And then Teen Titans. I loved Teen Titans. Have I answered this one before? I don't know. I hope I didn't. But what are a few others? An anime, like regarding anime. My favorite, I grew up watching Dragon Ball Z, which I didn't know was an anime. I thought it was just a cartoon, but apparently it's an anime, and I found that out like six years ago or something like that, but it's because my brothers watched it, and they watched Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon and stuff, but I never got too into Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh! or anything, um, and recently I've been watching My Hero Academia. It's freaking fantastic, and you need to watch it right now. And Attack on Titan, that's the other one. Attack on Titan is absolutely phenomenal. It is amazing. It's so good. But, oh, and Naruto. I almost forgot Naruto. I love Naruto. I still love Naruto. And I can't think of any more animes that I, I have sometimes. I used to watch One Piece with my brother, and it's a really good show. I just, I, I haven't watched it in a while. Ala Connie asks, Wolfie, do you play any sports? Um... No. I mean, I play sports. I like to play sports. Football and other sports ball and things like that. But I I didn't play sports in high school. When My last year of high school, I was going to play. People told me I needed to play football because I'm very forward. I'm good at short distance, like sprinting. And I'd be good at that. And I'm very good at catching a football. And I was gonna try out for football. Then my friends also told me because I was in ROTC or JROTC that they told me I need to do cross country or track. And I was gonna try out for cross country and track. And then I love soccer, football. I love soccer. I absolutely love it. And it may be my Portuguese inside. I don't know. I just I love it. And I'm I wouldn't say I'm good at it, but I'm better than some people, I guess. Um, ooh, I hit my mic again. I always hit my mic. And I was going to try out for soccer, too. I was going to do every sport I could for my senior year. And my sickness got me. So, I love playing sports, but I never played any in high school because I was either doing band, JRTC, or the one chance I had I was sick. Harry the Humanoid asks a couple questions. Do you think you'll get big on YouTube soon? And will you do collabs with others? Love you. Keep what you're doing. Keep up. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you guys, too. Um, do I think I'll be good? We'll see. 
I don't see it as me getting big on YouTube. It's us. It's the channel. It's nothing to do with me. But no, I don't think anytime soon the channel will spike. I think the channel will start gradually growing and I've been talking to a lot of people about collabs unfortunately that I'm, I'm going above my spectrum which I mean like I could collab with people to 10,000 to 20,000 subscribers something like that and it'd be easy I'm going after people like hundred thousand half a million million four million things like that so I've gotten a few back from a few people and they said if they have time they will um, I have been hitting up people with lower lower subscriber counts too and been trying to set that up but I've been super busy and I hope to get that going again um, hopefully that'll help the channel spike but I don't I don't really know and I do want to do collabs with others that's what I was talking about I want to do collabs once a month or try to with a subscriber of mine or of the channels and um, I want to do a lot more with like Mado I haven't su um, subscribed I haven't collabed with him in a while and I want to collab with other people that are not genu genuine, generally in the community right now. Oh, I hope they say this. I say this right. Beck Lenweber what, asks, what's your favorite breed of doggo? Uh, Pipple. Yeah, I, we've got a Pipple. And I love Hope. She's so cute and beautiful and sweet and loving. I love her. She's a big fat girl. She's the best. Send Veach. Steeler asks Wolfie, how did you start your channel? Um, I created a banner, created a channel, created a picture, pressed create, pressed record, pressed edit, pressed render, I pressed upload, and then I I, I did I pressed publish. I, pre I pressed, um, I pressed, um, record. Jedi Fairy asks, or Jedi Fairy asks, Hi Wolfie, I hope you had a good day. I hope you did too. My question is long. Have you had your pets and how old are they? Oh, it's how long have you had your pets? Um, the only pet is that's mine, like my pet, actually my pet. Is Stormy and he's with uh, he's in a different house right now um, he's fine don't anybody freak out I had to give him to another house because there are other cats here um, I didn't want to like throw him into a new environment and there's other ter very ter territorial cats here and I didn't want him fighting with anybody or them fighting him because he's too sweet of a cat and he plays with everybody so he's in a really good home with some people that want to see if they want a cat and they got him a nice cat bed a nice cat box, some nice food, nice treats, nice toys. It's a two-story house. He's got all the place to play because there's... I think he's the only animal. that There might be another dog there, but he loves dogs. So, um, yeah. And, and Stormy's only... Stormy's not even a year and a half old. He's maybe a year old. Scorpionx Storm asks, If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Europe. I, I don't want to say one specific place because I want to go everywhere. Like, over there. I want to go to Portugal, Spain, uh, Paris, I, I'm not sure if I want to go to Russia, China, Tokyo, uh, Germany, I really want to go to Germany, I really want to go to Portugal, like I said, um, Britain, I don't know if there's any other specific, Italy, Italy's a big one too, so th that, yes, I want to go to Europe, I would go to Europe if I could. Akash Pipial asks, where do you find your inspiration slash what drives you to upload? And in particular, where do you get the ideas for Motivational Mondays? <clears throat> the inspiration I get to upload is usually knowing how I'll feel when I hit record. Because, like I said in the other videos, lately it's been like, it's, it's been harder to want to record because of the drop in subscribers and the very slow paced, like, gain in subscribers lately. <clears throat> but I've gotten over that. Because every time I press record, it's like... It, nothing matters anymore. It, it's, I'm just in my own little space and it feels like I'm talking to all you guys. And it, it's just, I don't know, it's very calming to me to record. Even if I'm like, screw it! I swear to God, if I keep hitting my mic, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break somebody's face, even though it's not their fault. I'm gonna go outside, I'm gonna punch him in the face, I'm gonna say, stop letting me hit my mic! I'm gonna be like, what? Whatever. Um, and the motivational Monday ideas I get from you guys. 
I I think I I came up with one maybe and it, it's all you guys so thank you so much for that and yeah you guys inspire me for everything and my family and my girlfriend and yeah, that keeps me going no matter how many subscribers are lost or what happens to the channel or what happens to me or how sick I get Susanna Williams said after watching Octodad to this point in your attempts at I am bread which is more rage inducing oh <laughs> I am bread. Mm-hmm. I need to come back to that game to finish it. But holy shit. Oh my god. Octodad made me mad and it made me really mad on like the second episode. But I am bread is so frustrating. I don't think I got to beat a level unless it gave me the the like pity you can do whatever you want thing or whatever it is. And definitely I am bread. I am bread is so freaking annoying and I and rage inducing that wolf though asks hey wolfie just curious what's the story behind the howl oh um honestly I knew I was gonna call my my youtube channel in it's our youtube channel but when started I was creating it I'm gonna rip this pop filter in half if I don't stop hitting it eee! uh honestly it was just I knew that the channel was going to be called Wolfie, or Wolfie, or The Wolfie, or something like that, but it had to do with Wolf. And I spent months thinking about things like, what would my outro be? What would my intro be? What would blah, 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 blah. blah. And honestly, I, I was just sleeping one day, and I have really good ideas when I'm just about to wake up, or just now, fall, like, just falling asleep. And I woke up, and I was half in and out of sleep, <laughs> and I was like, you know it would be good for my YouTube intro since I'm wolfy and I'm a wolf I could make it a howl and I was like scrambling off my bed to go write it down before I forgot ah the good old times of before I realized how cruel and unforgiving a place YouTube was Jackson Mayoa who asks maybe not a good one the his question is maybe not a good one but which superhero is my favorite and what superpower would I want? Uh. Oh god. What's. My, the superhero that's my favorite is Batman. He kicks ass every game. Not every game. But the past few games he's been have been kick ass. Like the Arkham Asylum series. Oh. Oh, I could binge those games. They're incredible. Um. So he's my favorite by far. And he has no superpowers. He just kicks ass as a normal dude. What's more badass? And what superpower would I want? Oh gosh. Uh probably like super strength and indestructibility. Cause I can pick two, because I'm answering the question. Ski asks, and I've been meaning to ask, what's your necklace? You're usually wearing it and fidget with it occasionally. I'm so glad somebody, someone finally asked me this. I um, I wear what I wear every day when I record because it all means something to me. I mean, this watch is just a watch that my cousin gave me. Um, so that that's not like the most memorable thing. Let me move my mic away for a bit. But um. I'll show you my necklace up close actually it's something I got my senior year if you see there it's a compass and under the compass it's it's a two-piece shit it's a two-piece compass and under it it says now Voyager sail thou forth to seek and find W Whitman and um, well I, I wear this necklace and I don't wear it outside my shirt because that's weird and douchebaggish. I wear it inside my shirt close to my heart because it's a compass. And I figured no matter where I go after I graduate, whether I get big on YouTube or I just die out on YouTube and something else happens, no, or go to college or no one knows my name or I pass away or I create the cure to kidney disease, I don't care what happens and, and I don't know what will happen. but. No matter what happens, I wear this because it's a compass, and it, I want it to always remind me of where I came from. 
I always want it to remind me where I need to go and that I need to do the right thing. I want it to be my compass. It's not a functioning compass, but that's what it means to me. And it was just a little necklace I got from like the senior package you can get when you graduate. And I wanted to make it mean something more. So I wear it every day or as many days as I can remember. And I definitely wear it every time I record because I want it to be the compass that guides me and always reminds me of where I've come from. And that was reading your comments number three, I think. So I'm sorry I didn't do anything crazy there. I had to rush the um, a little bit and I didn't have the best comments. So throw all your comments down and tell me what you want me to read more. And who knows, you'd be in the next one. <laughs> I, I love answering them and I love this series and hopefully I can get it out tomorrow in time and the internet does, doesn't screw me over but we'll see and for now thank you everybody so much for watching this video Tom and ya! On my lip and my, my, my mouth's dry I got cotton mouth I got me some cotton mouth.